and her three young children in Massachusetts. Many are wondering if Lindsay Clancy suffered from postpartum depression or psychosis. We don't know the answer to that, but News 8's Lisa Carberg talked to a psychiatrist about the signs and symptoms of this condition. Having a baby can be one of the happiest days of a mother's life, but for some women, it can trigger a depressive and debilitating condition. Postpartum depression is a mood disorder that develops in the weeks following delivery. Psychiatrist Helen Bradshaw treats patients at Hartford HealthCare's Institute of Living. We asked her what causes postpartum depression in some women. That's a complicated question that we don't entirely understand. A combination of environmental factors, genetic factors, social factors. The CDC says one in eight new mothers will suffer some level of postpartum depression. Dr. Bradshaw describes typical symptoms. Inability to do the things that you would normally do, the things that you would normally enjoy. Things like eating, sleeping, really low mood. You can kind of have changes in how you perceive yourself. She says cognitive therapy and medications can treat the condition, but it can take weeks for some medications to work. There's also a dangerous condition called postpartum psychosis. Dr. Bradshaw says this includes symptoms where a woman is more disconnected from reality. She may experience delusions, hallucinations. Some women have beliefs such as, you know, I need to do harm to my baby. My baby's better off um, with me not around or not being alive. And these are really more frightening symptoms. Mothers of newborns can already be sleep deprived and feeling down, which is why it's so important for a woman to see her doctor. They know the right questions to ask in order to try and diagnose postpartum depression or psychosis. Lisa Carberg, News.